Hello, beautiful beings of light, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily, also known as Emily the Mystic, and I am an Akashic Records reader, a psychic medium, a quantum energy healer, a channeler, and I love to inspire my clients to connect to the magic and mystery of the stars and the cosmos so that they can live a galactically inspired lifestyle just like I do. So in this video today, we are talking about a super cool topic in the spiritual space. We are talking all about star seeds and how to know if you, yes, you are a star seed, what that is, and how to know if you may not be originally from this planet. So without further ado, let's get into it and unpack all things galactic and cosmic. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. I'm so excited for today's video because this is a really hot topic in the spiritual space. And this is a topic that has been absolutely impactful and instrumental in my own journey because it has helped me to feel so seen. It's helped me to feel so understood and it's helped me come to really deep realizations within myself about who I am, which is completely priceless, right? So I really encourage you today, as you're listening to this information, really just receive it, absorb it in your physical body and feel how it feels in your body. So I really encourage my clients when I do readings to feel into their body, to feel whether or not the information I share that I channel with them resonates with the physical body. The physical body will not steer us wrong. Your physical body is an incredible truth detector. So when you're listening and receiving this information, feel in your physical body and feel if it resonates for you. That's a very clear energy that's going to tell you whether, yes, this information is aligned with your own truth or maybe it's not and that's okay. So take what resonates with you from this video and leave what doesn't. So if you haven't already, go back and watch my video all about the origin of star seeds and where star seeds come from and what they are. So if you're not familiar with what a star seed is, I really want you to go back and watch that video. It's going to be linked at the end and linked in the description so that you can go back and watch it as well. But just to give you a quick little synopsis of what a, of that video and what a star seed is a star seed is a soul that is not from planet earth so when you resonate with the term star seed it means that you recognize that your soul originated from somewhere else in this galaxy or in another galaxy but that your soul did not originate on planet earth and this is such a cool topic because it can help you understand a lot of things about yourself. So without further ado, how do you know and recognize if you are a starseed soul? If your soul is not from here originally, if you came to planet Earth from somewhere else in the galaxy, we're going to be digging into how to know that truth today and how to know and recognize that about yourself. So the first characteristic of being a starseed, and again, not all of these may resonate with you. You may, a few of them may resonate with you, maybe all of them do, but just listen to each piece of information and again, take what feels true to you in your body and leave what doesn't. So the first characteristic of a starseed is that you, throughout your the course of your life, have felt like you didn't belong. Um, perhaps you have felt like you were the black sheep of your family, or that you just did, you were an outsider, that you just didn't quite fit in to your family, your school, where you're from, um, the, your social groups. Maybe you had a lot of acquaintances or a lot of friends when you were growing up, but you never really felt like you fully belonged with that group or like you feel it felt fully seen and understood by those groups of friends or those, or those people in your life. Maybe you felt like you didn't feel fully understood by your teachers or local community members or just like not feeling like 
you're completely understood or seen by the people around you. And so perhaps you at a very young age were very creative or rambunctious or artistic or sensitive or empathic or very just like wanted to do things your way had an idea of how things should be done and you wanted to do things your way but you always felt like you needed to fit in you were pushed to fit in you were pushed to conform you needed to to fit in to be safe you needed to follow the leader to follow along with what others were doing what you were told you had to follow along with what your family told you to do all of these are really big indicators that you are a star seed yourself and that you are not originally from this planet, from planet Earth. So feeling misunderstood, feeling like you don't belong, feeling like you're that black sheep of the family are all very common energies that star seeds have experienced in this, not just the, this incarnation in this lifetime, but in other lifetimes as well. I can tell you from my own personal experience that I was just a super creative, intuitive, playful, and yet quiet and sensitive child. And I like to play by myself, aka with my, you know, my spirit guides and my my imaginary friends and my angel friends. And I, I like to create things. I like to do craft projects. I like to play outside. And maybe these resonate with you. Maybe they don't. But I just, the, the energy is that I like to do things my own way. I like to have my own way of doing things. I like to see things a certain way and do things a certain way. But through over time, I felt pushed to follow a certain mold that others wanted me to be, follow a certain mold that society wanted me to be, that teachers expected of me, and so on and so forth. So if you've ever felt like that outcast, that outsider, you are 100% not alone. And it may be because you are a starseed. And there's an energy that's waiting to be awakened within you from discovering this. So the next characteristic is that you were a rebel. As a child, you had a little bit of a rebellious nature or that you've had a bit of a rebellious nature throughout the course of your life. Maybe you went through a little bit of a rebel phase as a teenager um, and you, you know, did things that were contrary to what your parents wanted you to do. Maybe you were just like super angsty um, and... You just really wanted to do things your own way, and so you rebelled <laughs> in a lot of ways. So if you carry this rebel energy, again, if you carry this kind of outcast, outsider energy, that is a really strong indicator that you are a star seed. Again, really just think back to a lot of your friendships and connections in childhood. Did you feel fully aligned with some or all of those friendships? You can probably think back to a few that were really incredible friendships for you, but maybe you didn't feel fully seen or understood in other relationships as well. Or maybe you just felt like you didn't have that group where you felt like you fully belonged and others did and you couldn't understand why that was or what why why you felt kind of like you were on the outside looking in the next major characteristic of star seeds is that you have lived most of your life feeling like you are kind of homesick for somewhere else even if you don't know 100 percent where that is so for me i grew up in a small town in pennsylvania I lived in the same house my entire life, and that was my home, and it still is very much my home, but there's still this bit of an energy within me that feels like I don't fully recognize, understand, see, and am in alignment with where I am from, no matter that be where I live now or where I grew up. It's almost like this energy of I could search all over the world and find places that I love, that I resonate with, but that just don't fully feel like they are mine. So if you feel like you don't really resonate with your hometown, if you feel like no one really gets you where, you from, where you're from, if you feel like you have moved a lot and nowhere feels like home, maybe you moved a lot as a child or you're moving a lot now as an adult or a teenager, and no matter where you are, you never feel fully 100% comfortable being there. Or maybe you've done a lot of traveling, and no matter where you go, you're excited by what you're seeing, you love what you're seeing, but it still doesn't feel 
fully like home to you and you carry a little bit of resistance around I really want to find my home but I feel like I'm getting further and further away from where it is and maybe you keep moving because of that or making shifts or moving even to different locations different apartments in the city that you live in or again you do a lot of traveling but there's still this energy of like searching for something that you can't quite put your finger on what it is big, big indicator that you are a star seed because home is not here. This is not, home is not, <laughs> earth is not your home. Your front, your home is somewhere else that is not here um, that exists in other dimensions, times, and planes. So just take that in for a moment and let that sit with you. Okay, the next really big indicator that you are a star seed is that you have found it hard to find people who truly speak your language right here, right now, wherever, whatever stage and age, whatever stage you're at, whatever age you're at right now. Maybe you feel like, again, you have a lot of a friend, a lot of friends, a lot of acquaintances, a lot of friends of friends, but you feel like no one truly gets you <laughs> or like maybe you have a, a few people in your life who really understand you. But other than that, you have spent a lot of time feeling very lonely, very alone, very out of touch. Again, like that outsider on the outside looking in, very disconnected. Um, and you're constantly like looking for that friendship or that person in your life who just fully understands you and gets you. And maybe you find it really, maybe you find small talk really uncomfortable. <laughs> maybe that's one of your least favorite things is trying to pick up a conversation with a random person or pick up a conversation with someone at a party or an event where you have to try to be friendly and like make friends and so on and so forth. And that's really hard for you. Maybe you and and star seeds are both extroverted and introverted. We can be, you know, one or the other, depending on your own unique genetic makeup and the makeup of your soul, of course. But uh, despite that, you may just find it uncomfortable, even if you are extroverted, to try to communicate with people who don't speak your language. So again, if you have kind of felt like the out, the one um, who stands out from the group, who doesn't quite fit in, that is a big indicator that you are a starseed. Or if you've always just had a smaller group of friends. Maybe you just have always had a small group of close friends um, or a smaller group of friends in general. Next, a bit really big indicator that you are a star seed is if you identify with being an empath, if you identify with being an extremely sensitive person. And by sensitive, I mean sensitive to energy, sensitive to emotions, to the feelings of other people. The definition of an empath is someone who takes on the feelings and energies of another person as if they were their own. So if you really identify with being sensitive to energy, star seeds in general, categorizing the group, are very, very sensitive beings. We have a bit of a different soul structure than somebody who has a soul from Earth. And therefore, we process energy, we process feelings, emotions, sensations in a different way than others. Most likely, you have really strong psychic and intuitive gifts because of this. Star seeds have really strong soul gifts that are just wait waiting to be activated and awakened. And these inner senses, these inner knowingnesses, these inner psychic gifts really create this strong sensitivity to energy. So if you feel really uncomfortable being in conflict or being in difficult situations or feel, feel uncomfortable around drama or people who create dramatic situations in your life, or you feel like you just intuitively know what's going on with somebody in your life and then you go to try to help them and you just take on their stuff and then you leave the conversation feeling worse. <laughs> That's a big indicator that you are a starseed because you are a natural healer at heart. You are so sensitive to energy. Starseeds are healers at their core. We have a lot of different healing gifts, whether that take on doing energy healing in this lifetime or helping others through coaching or mentoring or other things. Starseeds are here to do a variety of different things on earth. But at the core, we have a bit of an archetype within us where we want to 
try to heal others and to help others. So if you have always been that friend that people lean on or rely on, even if you feel like you're not fully connected to that person, but they rely and lean on you for help and support, that's a really big indicator that you're a star seed because they are getting drawn to your energy because they know that you have the gifts within you to help them. So that's another big one. Another big indicator that you're a starseed is if you have struggled with any form of addictive tendencies within your lifetime or have acted out or created drama or situations in your life around substances. So because as starseeds, we have such innate psychic gifts, a lot of us can want to turn off those voices in our head, to turn off the psychic gifts, to escape from them by using addictive tendencies. And that could be anything from an addiction to food and overeating, an addiction to sugar. This could be alcohol. This could be any other form of substance um, or, or addictive behaviors such as, you know, running away from things or um, being addictive, addicted to a behavior like going exercising too often more so than your body needs. Any of these different tendencies that we can take on are a way from not feeling fully connected, to, are a way to um, mute our senses so that we don't feel fully connected to ourself. So especially if you have psychic gifts, very, very, very likely that you have struggled with addiction at some point in your life or to addictive tendencies, um, whether that be overindulging or overdoing it or over uh, overacting or acting out um, against certain things or rebelling. Again, we talked about being a rebel earlier on in this video. All of those are tendencies and habits that we can create for ourselves as a way to escape from what's going on, especially again, if you've always felt left out or misunderstood or like you don't belong here, we can use addictions to cover up those feelings. We can use addictions to kind of fill the void of this disconnect that we are feeling within our life. So maybe you are still actively struggling with an addiction. And if that's the case, my heart goes out to you um, if that is the case. But know that there is this, a part of you that is ready to make itself known to you and to come out and for you to feel more, more connected to who you are. And maybe you were led to this video for a reason because it is here to help you on a new path, to help you realize that those habits, those patterns that you've created are just a way to numb yourself from what your soul actually needs. So really big indicator that you are a starseed if you have struggled with anything like that in your life before. Next, a big indicator that you are a starseed is if you love any of the following, music, arts, culture, food, travel, uh, trying new things, having fun, um, being creative, really being doing things your own way. If you feel like you resonate with having more of a right brain than a left brain, again, of course, we have star seeds who are more analytical and logical and so on and so forth. But the majority of star seeds that I know that are in my life and around me and so forth really have this tendency towards creativity and being connected to uh, the right brain and um, these creative energies and so on and so forth. Next, a really big indicator that you are a star seed is if at any time in your life you have struggled with your body. So whether that be through health issues that you've gone through, again, my heart goes out to you if that's the case, or if you've simply struggled with your body image and being fully comfortable in your body. If you've struggled with your weight, um, if you have struggled with liking the way that you look in the mirror, if you've struggled with your self-image and being confident in who you are, that's a big indicator that you are a starseed. Why? Because having a body on earth was not your first body. You have been in other bodies and you've also had incarnations where you haven't had a physical body at all. You've simply been an energy or your incarnation has taken a non-physical form of some kind. So coming into a physical body on earth, especially if you are a starseed, is a very difficult experience. All of a sudden we're a, a soul from another place dropped into a human body and we have to calibrate to what this body needs, how to feed it, how to help it, how to heal it, how to make it feel good, how to keep it clean, 
how to take care of daily habits and so on and so forth, which can feel really uncomfortable. And to some, it can even feel like a burden. Um, although I have to say that having a body is such a gift. And being given a physical body is such a gift because there are so many beings out there who don't have a physical body. And what a cool thing to be able to experience in this lifetime. So I can t tell you from experience, I have struggled with weight my whole life. Um, I was very, very heavy as a child. And my knowingness that I've come to terms of with that was that as a starseed soul, I love food. <laughs> and I have struggled with an over addiction to food and eating food. Um, because food is so delicious and there are other places where I have been in the past and past lives that didn't have food that is as delicious as it is here on earth. And this may be different for you. Maybe you have struggled with keeping on weight. Maybe you struggled with eating disorders or disordered eating or other forms of, um, disordered eating patterns or habits and that can be because you're from a place that didn't have food like on earth and so you are used to nurturing your body in a different way and it can be difficult for you to know how to properly feed and heal your body in this lifetime it can also mean that you just are very disconnected from your physical body because of these other lifetimes not here on earth and so learning how to drop into your body, feel comfortable with it, and learn how to nourish it is a bit of a challenge. And there are so, I could create a whole video on this. There are so many different ways that we can feel disconnected with the body, which can create health issues, which can create dis-ease within the body, and so on and so forth. So if you have struggled with your body at any point, it is a big indicator that you are a starseed. And finally, the last little fun fact, the last little fun characteristic that I want to share is if you have always loved epic fantasy and epic fantasy movies or other types of creations. So I love the Avatar movie when I was growing up. If you love Star Wars, Star Trek, Dune, any and all different movies, um, that take place in another realm. Lord of the Rings is another big one. Narnia. If you've really enjoyed epic fantasy movies with different types of beings, with different types of government structures and different ways of doing things and magical powers and psychic powers and so on and so forth, that's a really big indicator that you're a starseed because you've experienced other places and this is your, those movies or those soundtracks or those TV shows or books are a really great way to help you to feel connected to the stars and to feel connected to that version of yourself. If you just love the stars in general, if you love looking up at the stars, if you feel really connected to the cosmos, to, to astrology, to really stargazing and looking up at the night sky and appreciating that, that is a huge indicator that you are a star seed. So this is all a lot of information. Take it in again. Allow yourself to feel it in your body. If this information is just hitting home for you in a lot of different points, even if not all of it resonates, more likely than not, you are a starseed soul. How to know if we are 100% a starseed soul. The best way to do this is through an Akashic Records reading, which at this time I am offering to my clients so we can dig into your starseed lineage and learn about you as a cosmic soul and where you're from in terms of the galaxy and other planets. One other really important thing to note is that with starseed souls, we are not just from one place. We have had, just like we've had multiple incarnations here on Earth. Um, if you have not seen my past lives video, make sure you go and check that out as well. But more, but you have had a lot of incarnations on Earth. You've also had a lot of incarnations in other star systems. So you're not just from one other place. You are a cosmic melting pot of different star seed cultures and planets and places all over the galaxy. There's so many infinite possibilities. And the best that we can do is to take a look at this through the lens of the Akashic Records to discover where are the places where your soul has spent the most time. Those are the, those are the places, the energies that you're, are going to feel the most like home to you. So some of the most common starseed locations, I'm just going to share this to end the video. I can make whole other videos about all these different places, these different topics. But the Pleiades is a really, really common star system where a lot of 
uh, star seeds on Earth are from. The Pleiades, the best way I can describe their energy is it's very fun, playful, high vibrational, powerful in this very creative sort of joyful, playful way. We have Sirius, Sirius, the Sirius star system are very down to earth, salt of the earth people. And I know that sounds kind of funny because you most, as a star seed, you most more likely than not are, are going to resonate from somewhere else other than earth. But the Sirius star system is a very practical, pragmatic place. And so people, beings from Sirius, actually resonate more with earth because they are more used to the structure and so forth from the star system where they're from, from the Sirius star system. We have the Arcturians. The Arcturians are a super high frequency, super high vibrational group of beings. They are just so light filled is the best way that I can describe them. They are also very intellectual and very deep. They have a lot of depth to them. They can help, they could, an Arcturian soul can help you talk about a specific topic for hours, for example. We also have the Mintuckens. Mintuckens are a star system of mermaids and mermaid culture. We have the Andromedans, another really high vibrational group of beings that are very light and bright. We also have Orion and some of the other star systems that carry different differing forms of energies. This is just a super brief overview to give you a glimpse of the different types of groups that are out there. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. There's a lot of information packed in here. I hope it helps you to feel more seen and understood. I see you. I understand you. I know how it feels to come to this awareness that, okay, I am from somewhere else and I am here having the human experience and I have to relearn how to do a lot of things because that's a big part of the journey. So thank you for watching this video. Again, if you're not sure where, what star system you're from, book an Akashic Records reading with me and we will get to the root of what you need to know about your star lineage. All right, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.